Good evening, I'm Jeff Glor, and we're going to begin here tonight with a case the FBI says could cause serious damage to national security. In what is believed to be a first, a former U.S. Air Force specialist who defected was indicted for giving Iran information about a top-secret U.S. program and revealing the identities of American officers. David Martin reports from the Pentagon. For 11 years, Monica Witt used her top-secret clearance to spy on Iran first for the Air Force and then as a government contractor. But she quit in 2010 and later, according to Assistant Attorney General John Demers, told the Iranians all about her secret work. What we've alleged is that what she provided them was the identity name of a, a secret intelligence program of the U.S. government, as well as the identities of uh, an intelligence officer. She first made contact with the Iranians while attending an anti-American conference in Tehran. After Witt returned to the U.S., she started texting with a go-between, a person holding dual U.S.-Iranian citizenship who was assessing her potential as a spy. In one text, Witt told the go-between she might do like Snowden, an apparent reference to Edward Snowden, the one-time contractor for the National Security Agency, who leaked troves of top-secret documents. Then she defected to Iran. She appears to have switched her allegiance to uh, thinking that the United States, where she was born and raised and worked, was uh, you know, not where her allegiance was anymore. Witt helped the Iranians create so-called target packages on the American intelligence officer who had run the secret program, along with several others she knew. A target package in intelligence community parlance is uh, basically a plan to neutralize uh, one of our intelligence agents. Iran attempted to hack into the officers' computers and plant malware that would allow them to record every keystroke on their keyboard. None of the American intelligence officers the Iranians targeted are known to have suffered any harm. As for wit, she is believed to still be in Iran and beyond the reach of U.S. law. Jeff? David, thank you very much.